वेलकम बैक दिस इज आवर थर्ड प्रॉब्लम हियर सो आई वुड लाइक टू ड्रॉ बाय यूजिंग नोडल डायग्राम आई लाइक टू ड्रॉ द सर्किट वर्स सो दिस वन इज एक्स वन टी एंड दिस वन इज आवर एक्स टू टी ओके सो व्हाट इज आवर इनपुट सोर्स ओवर हियर इनपुट सोर्स इज आवर एक्स टी सो हियर दिस वन इज आवर एक्स टी सो दिस इज आवर एक्स टी ओके and what are the rest of the equation x1 is connecting with our m1 so this one is m1 and that is also connecting with our t1 this one t1 so the k1 is connected with x1 and that is also connected with our x1 and in between our x1 and x2 i have got the b1 to so this one is our b12 and what is connected with our x2t node you can see that it is nothing but our m2 and our k2 okay so by using the same method i have i will like to write the equation over here so this is this like this so what is the equation at node m x1 t i have got the equation f t is equal to m1 d2 x1 t divided by d t2 plus k1 x1 t plus as i am taking that x1 t as our reference that is why x1 t will be greater for this type of equation so b12 d dt of x1t minus x2t okay so this is our first equation this is this is if i am applying the equation at node x1 for the same if i am applying applying the same equation or by using the same procedure i have got the at node x2 i have got the equation so what is the equation over there the equation is very simple d2 x2 t divided by d t2 plus k2 x2 t plus for this one this k2 this and in between the b12 i have got b12 d dt of x2 t minus of x1 t which is is equal to 0 so this is our equation to okay i will try to say one second that what is the exact method from this diagram i have got this this diagram so this diagram is by loop method i have form this diagram so i am first identifying the x1 t x2 t so what are the connecting parts with this x1 t i need to follow that so x1 t is connecting with our m1 block here the k1 so k1 is 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 been connected over here and what is the source over here which is nothing but our ft okay so this ft is been connected over here this ft okay so and x1 is connected with m1 and k1 so m1 and k1 and in between are x1 and x2 i have got the b12 so i am dry, uh, i am drawing in between this x1 and x2 t over here okay and what are the connecting elements with the x2 t here the m2 and the k2 so i am converting this diagram into this diagram and after following this diagram i have got the equation which is nothing but force minus of m1 uh, by using the newton second law i have got this equation and for the spring this is our equation and for the dashboard this is our equation why do i take that x1 is greater as i am taking the reference x1 so that is why uh, x1 t minus of x2 t for in if i am taking the reference from x2 t then the opposite is same over here so i am taking x2 t minus of x1 t and rest of the equation is the same just like that and this is our equation 2 and by the same procedure if you have 
applied the or if you like to convert the t domain into s domain you need to uh, convert or you need to use the laplace transform over here after that or after the same conversion that i have done in my previous mathematical problem you have got the transfer function which is output divided by divided by input so what is the input over here our input is our ft and the output is our uh, you can choose the both one x1 as well as as x2 but if you want to find out the transfer function then this ratio is valid over here so by using the same method you have got this transfer function from and so, sorry this one is 1 x1 s divided by f, f, fs so this form also so this uh, this is the same procedure uh, i have formulated or i have repeated over here so i don't want to do repeatedly the same procedure over here so this is the same method here after you have find the equation 1 and 2 you need to convert this time domain into s domain by using the laplace transform and after that or after some preliminary calculations are there then you will you have got the transfer function so this one this ratio is our transfer function of the system which is nothing but our output divided by input in s domain okay so this is the problem or uh, this is our third problem over here if you st still don't even don't be able to find out the ratio over here please follow my previous video uh, in that video i had taken or i had solved all the required steps over there so please check my previous videos also okay so actually i have forgotten one thing over here which is i need to include the fc1 and fc2 over here as you can see that fc1 is connected with our x1 and also you can see that the fc2 is connected with x2 okay so i want to include this in my equation and my diagram also okay so how do i include the fc1 over here the method is very simple fc1 is connected with x1 so i want to include include over here another thing which is uh, this one is our fc1 so this is our fc1 okay and the x2 t is connected with fc2 so another thing is here another element is here which is our fc2 okay this is our fc2 so what is the change in equation over here i want to add another thing in in our equation which is uh, in equation 1 i need to include fc1 d dt of x1 t okay and in the equation 2 i need to include the part fc2 that i have included over here so the equation is fc2 d dt of x2 t okay which is so m2 d2 x2 t divided by d2 plus this plus this and plus this which is equal to 0 okay and the equation 1 is simple the ft is equal to this uh, our mass into acceleration plus of k1 x1 t plus of b1 t plus an additional term is here which is this one so this is my correct form of equation by this diagram and i have forget over here okay so please accept uh, this uh, little bit uh, error and please do subscribe my channel and thank you